Hello, this is Gio, and what you're looking at here is a little uh, receptacle box that I installed, which has three wires coming out of it. Two of them are uh, internet, ethernet cables, and another one is just a um, TV cable, which we're not dealing with today. But what I wanted to do for these, these will be hooked up to TVs and also computers, uh, what I wanted to do is actually install the um, a CAT 5E jack at the end of the. That's basically the female part where the um, the uh, the male plug goes into, which you're most used to. And this is what I purchased, which is the basically the CAT the CAT 5E uh, jack. And we're going to install this today, and I'll show you how. And so here's a little plug right here, and this will uh, fit into the back of this little plate and be kind of flush like you're used to seeing where you put your little, uh, your little plug into these. So uh, we removed the faceplate, um, and these actually come with a little cap that you can cover it over. But we need to wire these things appropriately. All right, so the first thing you want to do is just get this uh, outer gray. It might be blue, it might be a different color, but uh, and I'm just using this crimping tool, which has this built-in uh, stripper. Um, you may or may not have this, but it, it kind of helps. If you don't, just there you go. It's as easy as that. If you don't, just use either a, a little blade or a, a different tool, um, a wire stripper, to get this outer co coating out. But be careful that you don't cut these inner wires that you see here. Now there's um, four bundles of wires. There's eight wires total, and they come like this. There's also a little white, white little string here that you don't need. This actually, uh, this string helps you if you need additional um, scoring of this outer casing. It helps you do that. But you could just go ahead and cut this and remove that just like that. Okay, so you have four bundles of wire, two wires each. The first uh, one is basically an, an orange with a white wire with orange stripe, blue, blue stripe. This is, uh, I'm getting this right, this is uh, brown with a brown stripe and a green with a green stripe. And you want to just un unwound each one Kind of keep them together and then kind of straighten them out as best you can. Now looking at the jack itself, there's some color coding on the side. Let me try to zoom in here so you can see. Okay, you see an A and B and you also see some on the other side as well, A and B. We're interested in the B, that's the most standard um, type of uh, internet wire out there. So what you see is a orange orange stripe or white stripe but that represents basically the orange stripe this is the wire with, with solid orange green stripe solid green blue blue stripe brown brown stripe and the wires are actually going to go into these little slots here and you'll see how I place them in just a sec so you're going to take your cable and kind of place it in this little slot here uh, with your bundles of twos kind of on where they're supposed to be going. And so you sort of place it in and then the first wire is the, the orange with stripes. So that's the number one. And so you're just kind of going to bend that down and then follow that up with your orange wire just like that. And then your green wire like that. and then your or excuse me your your green stripe wire there your green wire there and then kind of hold those down now with this pack what you are fortunate to come with little key here now if you don't have a crimping tool uh, which you uh, which would make this a little easier um, purchase the jacks with this little tool because it makes it a lot easier and what this little tool does is that it kind of you're able to press the wire in. There's little, there's two little kind of a teeth in there. So when you push it in, it'll cut the wire and make the um, the copper inside will make contact with the jack. And so you just kind of push it in like this, 
like that. And then you do that for everything on the side. Just kind of push it in. Here, let me zoom in a bit so you can see. Just like that. And then you turn around. My wire is a little bit. Let's see. Okay. And then you do the same. So follow the pattern. It's blue on the side. So this is what you should have at the end. And just leave these little things out like this and we'll trim them off with our little snips. And there you go. And you just want to verify that all the colors are correct. And then you go ahead and put your cap on. Now the cap uh, there's a little the way you can tell the cap is you have this one little piece right here and that that will kind of grip uh, the main cable so it goes in this direction like that and then it just snaps on just like that and then this will fit into your plate normally you want the little um, the lever of the uh, plug-in to be up at least that's my preference and then you just snap it in place. Like that. And there you go. And so when this is installed, uh, it'll be flush. I'm going to do the next one. I'll be right back. And there you go. You see both of them are operational. Plug in. And a day I've already tested both of them and they work. And I hope this video helped you out. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.